Are you thinking about hypnosis for depression, anxiety, or some other mental health symptom? If so, then watch this video first. Hypnosis has been used as a mental health treatment since the late 1800s, and this history is important to understand. Even Sigmund Freud, who had a major influence on the modern field of psychiatry, practiced hypnosis early in his career. An important moment for Freud came when his colleague, Dr. Joseph Breuer, successfully treated a young woman, Anna O. Breuer hypnotized Anna, which helped her recall traumatic memories and express repressed emotions about those memories, leading to the resolution of her numerous symptoms. Freud carefully studied this case which contributed to his discovery that many mental and unexplained physical illnesses are caused by unconscious mental processes, such as repressed emotions. Later, however, Freud abandoned hypnosis for two main reasons. First and foremost, Freud found that the benefits patients achieved under hypnosis didn't always last. In fact, most patients can't remember the unconscious material they access during hypnosis. Because of that, they end up right back where they started. Second, Freud found that many of the patients he treated with hypnosis developed sexual fantasies about him, which made him rather embarrassed. In response, Freud developed psychoanalysis, which is a procedure to help people access important unconscious material while they're awake so they can remember and integrate it. Psychoanalysis is still available today, as well as many psychoanalytic psychotherapies that derive from it. So the moral of this story is that mental health symptoms such as depression and anxiety are driven by unconscious mental processes such as repressed emotions and emotional conflicts. Hypnosis is just one technique to access and heal these emotional conflicts. So if you're thinking about hypnosis as a mental health treatment, Keep in mind that it will be necessary to have debrief or even psychotherapy sessions to recall and use what was unlocked during the hypnosis. And for some, especially those who are difficult to hypnotize, it may be simpler just to find a good psychotherapist. So have you tried hypnosis? What do you think about it? Please let me know in the comments. Also, consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.